Welcome to the show, welcome to the show. Here to give you knowledge that you didn't know. Put you on some game, now you got a buzz. You are now listening to Canna Bros. We talking about the Canna Bros. So when we talk decriminalization versus legalization, right? Yeah. I am not for legalization unless there has been social equity programs put in place to ensure that the communities impacted by the war on drugs are taken care of first. Mm -hmm. And once the communities are taken care of first um, and, and they get a fair then there, there is that sense of equality, right? Uh, when, when there's that fair, okay, now your, your population, now your uh, demographics have are proportionately represented in all facets of the cannabis industry. Now let's focus on legalizing. Right. So the fact of uh, when we talked about equity, right? So one, one team, you know, I think of it like a. a a race, right? So if if it's a, a hundred meter yard sprint, right? Mm -hmm. A hundred meter dash, I mean, right? And you're starting at the hundred meter line, right? And mm -hmm. they said, no, this no, these lanes one through four get a three second head start. Okay. <laughs> right. On top of that, you have a weight tied to your ankle. Okay, you got some ankle weights on. And they said, all right, ready. Are, are your mark? Get set. Bah! Right? So they're already, they've already taken off. They got the three second jump. And now you're trying to catch up, right? Right. Um, if legalization occurs before you get the opportunity to catch up, take that weight off, and run a fair race, you're going to be left behind even more because think about the same analogy you're going to get tired faster right, right? you're going to get tired faster uh they're going to reach the reach the finish line faster you're going to have a slower time uh and the chance of injury is a lot higher because you have uh, external factors at play yeah when i like that to analogy too uh -huh. I, 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 yeah, straight up, I respect that analogy. That's a really good analogy. Me and Corey speak in uh, analogies and metaphors all the time. So that's a really good analogy. I think about it, too, because you're like, yo, as you might complain, man, I got a weight on my leg. And then they say, well, it's a weight on everybody's leg, a.k.a. taxes, fees. But, right? So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a weight on my leg. And you complain, you're like, everybody got the same weight. And you're like, right. yeah, but they got a three-second head start, though. <laughs> and my weight is heavier. And and to bring bring it into real real terms. Yeah. So imagine no programs are set up, right? Mm -hmm. Not not only so not only minority programs, right? But mom and mom and pop businesses uh, uh, as well, right? Right. So, so it, it it has scale to it. So if if cannabis is legalized, let's say federally, right? Mm -hmm. Now, big business is in. Bam, right? So now they're going to start establishing these mass, you know, 400, 4,000 acre cannabis farms. So think about that, right? So if there's like four farms in the U.S. used to supply all distributors, now automatically the mom and pop cultivators are out. Yep. Okay. Now Walmart, all the other big businesses are in are in, right? Now, if Walmart says we're gonna start selling cannabis, oh snap. Now they can afford to lower the price yeah. so much lower than the average retailer or dispensary can sell, right? Mm -hmm. And that's gonna put them out of business already. And they can get it in mass supply because they have the money and the power to purchase so much more in bulk. And so now what's that, what is that doing? That's kicking out the mom and pop businesses. And now when we look at the mom and pop businesses and we look at the proportionality of how many of those mom and pop businesses are low income and to speak specifically to like the black community, right? 
it's like four percent uh, ownership within the mom and pop industry within or within the cannabis industry as a whole. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. industry as a whole, right? And and most majority of those are mom and pop businesses. <laughs> Thanks for tapping in with the Canna Bros. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of this free game. Peace. We talking about the Canna Bros. Who?